At first, it was a distant problem. We heard about it in the news, a virus outbreak in China. But soon after, it broke out in Italy. It seemed a little less of a joke when suddenly I was only 1,300 kilometers away from the battlefield. Little did I know, the next day I'd be receiving an email from my university confirming our first case. It suddenly became something that directly affected me, my community, my country, our world. The virus saw no boundaries. Suddenly, we were taught a million things within a very short time span. We learned what really matters. Suddenly, even though everyone distanced themselves, they became closer than ever, showed more love than ever. In Italy and Spain, balconies are being used to fill the streets with music, joy, entertainment, love. At eight, Spaniards clap from their windows and balconies to thank and honor those workers out there on the battlefield. Faces of joy flood the streets with hope and courage, as the sound of clapping fades away to wish everyone a good night. I now know my neighbors' faces. I see them every day clapping from their balconies. Before, they were just strangers that walked the streets. We've become closer than ever. Now it's everyone against the virus. We call our grandparents, family, and friends more than ever. We've realized that we are social creatures, that we might be a little more extroverted than we thought. We miss them. We miss the beers post work, the wine with friends, the laughter and games with our families. Suddenly, the world slowed down. People slowed down. We live every day with the hands of the clock ticking against us. Many of us, victims of rushing through life, living every minute thinking of the next. Suddenly, we had time to reflect. We had time to reflect on our purpose, on what really makes us wake up every morning. We learn to live in the present moment, not taking for granted every minute of life we were gifted. Suddenly, we experience isolation. We face ourselves. We experience what it feels like to spend time with ourselves. Hello, Irene. Nice to meet you. We spotted every freckle on our bodies, realized we could whistle, noticed details about ourselves that we hadn't ever noticed. We began to get to know who we are and what it's like dating ourselves. Suddenly, we became addicted to screens. It came to a point where the first thing you'd do in the morning was check the updated statistics. We would turn our TV on and all we'd see is the news on Corona. We'd spend hours of our day with our eyes locked on the screen in front of us. We suddenly became consumed with fear, panic, and information overload. There were food and toilet paper shortages. In spite of all this fear, we lost the fear of change and judgment. More open to changing our habits, to changing our looks, to discovering new hobbies. Suddenly, we obtained our own approval and found our own worth. Suddenly, we were grateful. Grateful for that last gasp of fresh air we got on the 11th of March. Grateful for our rights of walking down the public streets that now have been taken away from us. Grateful for the healthcare system. Grateful for the workers at work. Grateful for the recoveries and for those moments we had spent with the ones who passed away. Once this is all over, let's greet everyone with open arms, with an open heart. Hug and kiss those we love. Make time for people. Once this is all over, go out to nature. Appreciate the beauty that surrounds us. Once this is all over, continue getting to know yourself and those around you. Once this is all over, continue being grateful and thanking your higher power. Once this is all over, don't forget about isolation. Continue being human.